We're at WFL's technology meeting in Linz in Austria. Coming through the door, first impression, wow, this is absolutely amazing. We're here with Simon from Kyle Machine Tools. What's your relationship with these guys? Uh, our relationship with WFL is uh, we're their UK distributor and we look after sales and service in the UK and Ireland. What are we actually showcasing at this technology meeting? Uh, well, it's the uh, June 22 technology meeting here in Linz and the uh, purpose of the meeting is to bring together um, WFL together with its suppliers and its customers to showcase the capabilities of WFL and the future capabilities which we're developing. And they've got a few machines on show. So we're showing uh, in excess of 10 machines together with uh, tooling and software and other support services which we're going to have a look at on the way through the open house in the next few minutes. Simon, first machine, the M20G. A slight change in what you'd expect from a WFL machine. So uh, the M20 is a new addition to the stable of machines from WFL, and this is aimed at smaller components. Uh, WFL have traditionally been known for machining the very large end of the uh, component uh, spectrum. So here we have the M20. We have it equipped with a pallet loader and a gantry loader to take the parts from the loading system into the machine and back out again when they're being completed. Okay, we'll come to the automation later, but also here notice in, in the actual envelope, 2B axis, complex parts. So again, it's still complex machining, together with all of the other software uh, solutions that we offer across the whole range of mill turn machines. Um, this is a subspindle machine. Uh, it's got built-in motors, both for the TBM unit and the main spindle motors. Just alluding to complex and difficult components. Absolutely. I think we should go and look at one of their large machines now. Simon, as we alluded, M80, big machine. I mean, look at that component. And their phrase is, plant one's machine complete, because you, you don't want to be taking that out, do you? No, we don't. Um, this is a uh, M80, three meter machine. And on the show, we've got a large demonstration component, which is showing uh, a lot of the uh, machining features that are available on our range of machine tools. Impressive stuff, but we thought that was a big machine. This is the biggest one on show at the technology meeting. Uh, Simon, what can I say? Huge machine, fantastic component. Tell me more about it. So this is our uh, M150 uh, HW for heavyweight machine. Um, this has been recently uh, enhanced. Um, we used to be able to carry a maximum of 15 tonnes. We can now increase that to 25 tonnes. Um, we're showing here a six and a half metre bed length machine, but we've recently expanded the bed lengths up to a total of 12 metres. Again, impressive stuff, but also just looking, I mean, the power of these machines, look at the size of that. Well, on, on this particular machine, we've got a 100 kilowatt main spindle drive and a 55 kilowatt uh, TBM drive. Uh, we can also have a 45 kilowatt uh, TDM drive, but then it's uh, uh, up to 8,000 RPM. Okay, again, what's coming out from this whole show is the flexibility of your machines. You can get exactly what the customer wants. Absolutely. I mean, we're here to provide the customer with a machining solution. Um, and to do that, we need to have a, a whole array of technologies available that uh, can be added to the machine to suit each customer's demands. And it's not just about the machines, it's looking forward. So I think we should go and look at some automation. Okay, let's go. As I said, automation is the next step. So first of all, the M20G, which we've just had a quick look at anyway. Okay, first of all, um, WFL took over the company Fry in 2018, which now enables us to offer uh, not just machining solutions, but automated solutions alongside machines from one stable. All in-house, complete in -house. control. Absolutely. Um, so we have a, a, a pallet system with a gantry loader on show. We have a robot uh, with interchangeable grippers uh, and chuck changers and faceplate changes on show and then we have the AGV system here behind us uh, which enables us to service uh, a multiple number of machines. So when I'm thinking automation, yeah, absolutely, the pallet, pallet loaders, the gantry loaders, the robot arms, this is the next evolution then? Our AGVs are the next evolution and uh, with this example here we are able to load raw material to uh, a number of different machines 
we're able to collect the finished components, again using the same uh, robot across multiple machines, and we're also able to use um, special tools on different machines by carrying those with the robot here as well. So instead of buying three boring bars, you only need to buy one. And also changing fixturing work holding as well? Absolutely, yeah. fixtures, tools, chucks, uh, you name it, we can do it. Absolutely amazing in terms of machines, automation. I'm assuming it's going to need some high quality software to go with it. Well, software and digitalization is uh, key to uh, making all of these machines and all of the software developments functional. So maybe we can go and have a look at that area. We're here in the digitalization area. As we know, data is key for these guys. Yes, obviously, um, to ensure that the machines are running effectively, then we need lots of different software packages to be able to monitor that so we can help improve um, the processes going forwards. So to, do, to enable us to do that um, efficiently, we have uh, a range of CrashGuard Studio products to enhance the programming capability. We have WFL, or my WFL cockpit, which enables us to also include process monitoring and condition monitoring. Um, and these are all important areas uh, to ensure that the customers are able to produce their parts efficiently. That's it in a nutshell, so keeping it nice and simple, super efficient, complex components. Absolutely. Machining these components comes with its own complexity, and as I say, clamp once, machine complete. So how are you going to measure these? So we have a complete range of measuring solutions available on the Milton range of machine tools. Um, and uh, apart from the standard probing solutions, uh, we also can uh, do on this machine um, laser scanning, which we can see working at the moment. Uh, in addition to that, we've got uh, ultrasonics, which enable us to measure wall thickness. Um, so therefore, for example, if we're producing a bore that's one, two, three meters deep, to probe down three meters depth, the bore is quite difficult with a, a traditional probe. So by using ultrasonics, we can check size and concentricity. not just about the machines, you've got lots and lots of partners, including tooling solutions. So talk me through these. So uh, to enable us to machine complex components, we need complex tooling solutions. Um, so we have a complete range of tools. We can see some of them here uh, for the deep hole boring activities. Um, we've got more tools over there for monitoring um, vibration and things like that. So WFL also have a, a team of specialists for tool design so that they can work in conjunction with the normal tooling suppliers to develop tools especially for WFL um, to enable us to complete these complex machining operations. You can't fail to be amazed by the technology at WFL so Simon in summary. In summary um, we're here to provide our customers with a competitive machining program uh, for complex components. Um, so we welcome our customers to the open house to give them the opportunity to talk with the WFL specialists about their own particular um, challenges um, and we're here to provide them with a machine, um, with uh, work holding equipment, with probing and measuring solutions and tooling solutions. So the whole solution and the final statement is clamp once, machine complete. <laughs>